I'm a cider drinker I drinks it all of the day I am a cider drinker It soothes all me troubles away Oh, I roll Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome once again to another episode of The Cider Drinker. And it has been an absolute scorcher today, 32 degrees outside in the heat, and for me, that is just way too hot. I'm not really a summer person, I'm more of a calm, springy kind of guy. But, to be honest, when it's this hot, the only thing that I can think of to cool myself down is an ice-cold glass of cider. And I do so happen to have one right here with me now. And today's cider is... Jacques Fruits de Bois. I probably said that totally wrong, but for us Englishmen out there, it actually is Jacques Fruits of the Forest Cider. Now, firstly, you'll just notice that this is not a typical cider. One, because it comes in a huge bottle, it's pretty much the size of a wine bottle, and it's more of a fruity cider than an apple cider, so this is not a typical cider. However, it does look extremely refreshing, especially on days like this, but though the looks match the taste, well, we'll find out in a sec. But first of all, let's just give you some details on Jacques Fruits de Bois, shall we? Jacques Fruits of the Forest comes in these massive 750ml bottles. That's the only way you can get it as well. You can't get it on tap or in cans, because I guess it's just that too sophisticated for it. The alcohol percentage is 5.5% on this bad boy. Now, I'm going to assume it's a sweet cider, because it doesn't actually say anywhere on the bottle if it is or not. Now, the pricing, because it is quite a big bottle, it is a bit more expensive. Uh, the cheapest I've seen it go for is $3.95, but that was on the rare occasion. The average price I've seen it for is around £4.10, so you're going to expect to pay a little bit more for this bottle, but is it going to be worth it? So, there's all the details for you. Now, you just instantly can tell the difference between normal ciders and Jacques cider. It just screams sophistication, pretty much. I don't know whether you can see this or not, but there's actually the Jacques logo engraved inside the bottle. There we go, I hope you can see that. And it just looks extremely classy. Really, you could mistake this for, well, a bottle of wine, to be honest. If you didn't notice that it says cider with fruit there, you could instantly think this is a rosé, or, um, yeah, just a, a really nice looking wine, but no. Looks can be deceiving, this is a fruit cider. Now, on the back of the bottle, it does have a little description, and it says it's a deliciously refreshing blend of lightly sparkling cider and the concentrated juice of fruits of the forest. Enjoy Jacques over ice. And to be honest, I couldn't agree more. This is definitely best served over ice. But um, I don't have any ice with me, so I'm just going to have to make do with what I have. Now, a little bit, a little tidbit of information here. This cider is actually made from the Strongbow Company. Yes, those guys that make the cheap, pretty much music festival ciders also make this. Is it going to be any good, I wonder? There's only one way to find out. Let's crack this bottle open, shall we? Now then. Oh, there we go. Straight off. Haha. -ha. There you go. You don't need a bottle opener for this. It's just a screw cap. Now then, let's just give this a smell. Oh, I can already smell it. I've not even got my nose to the bottle and already I can... Wow, the aroma that's coming off of this. Oh, so many flavours. I'm getting... I'm getting raspberries, black currants, blackberries. A hint of cherry. There are so many flavours are coming out of this. It's amazing. That smells so good. Wow. Oh, I can't wait any longer. I'm going to have to get this in the glass. Puff, not just got any typical Thatcher's gold glass. No. This sophisticated cider calls for a sophisticated glass. So, if you don't mind me, I'm just going to pour a little bit. Oh, listen to that. Hmm. Now, as it says, it is a lightly sparkling cider, so it does have a little bit of fizz to it. Now, let's just... And the aromas just get even more intense in the glass. That just smells absolutely divine. I can't wait to try this, so... Cheers, guys. Oh, wow. That is heavenly. That is so nice. 
oh, it's a taste sensation. It really is. So many different flavours are coming off of this. It is absolutely incredible, and it lingers in your mouth as well. It just doesn't. It doesn't want to go. It really doesn't. I'm going to get a second opinion just to be sure. Hmm. Wow. Oh, that is that is amazing. That is just such an amazing taste, and it's incredibly refreshing too. I do realise that most of it is just from like juice concentrates with just a little hint of um, like proper proper fruits and everything, but that doesn't matter. The taste is just amazing. Like I say, you're just getting so many different berries in this. Like I say, you've got raspberries, you've got black currants, you've got cherries, you've got blackberries. You've just got everything in this glass. It's just absolutely amazing. It's yeah. It's it's obviously sweet, as you can probably tell with all these with all these hints of berries. There's no way this is going to be a dry cider, uh, you know, a dry fruit cider. This is just very sweet, obviously, but it's just incredibly easy to drink, especially served over ice. This would just be the ideal companion for a very hot day like it is today. I'm just so glad I've got this bottle open. I can tell you. Mm. Heavenly, heavenly. I could easily finish this bottle off tonight. I'm not going to because I don't want to get horribly drunk. It's only 5.5% in volume, but there is a lot of it, so you could get drunk very easily off of this. Now, obviously it is a bit pricier, you know. I think it's trying to be more of a more of a wine, winey kind of cider. I, I'm trying, you know, I don't really know what I'm saying here but um it's just trying to be more sophisticated than normal ciders that's why the price is quite expensive so if you can afford it then i really highly suggest that you try out this bottle of um, jacques fruits of the forest because it's just it's an experience it really is it's just an amazingly well crafted well made cider and it's just brilliant. The only thing that brings it down is the price. Like I say, the average is about £4.10. But for what you get, it's definitely worth it. Jacques, Fruits of the Forest Cider, gets an extremely solid 8 out of 10 from me. Like I say, it's only gone down the mark because of the price, but otherwise, this is a superb cider. Find it, buy it, try it, love it. Seriously. I can't praise this enough, so that has been another episode of The Cider Drinker, and if you don't mind, I'm just going to finish this glass off. Tatty bye.